Okay, I'm going to show you how to play Billionaire by Travis McCoy featuring Bruno Mars. Um, I'm going to demonstrate. It's a little high for my uh, my voice. It's a little high, so if, you hear, if it sounds like I'm straining to hit some of the high notes, I am. <laughs> but, uh, all right, here we go. I want to be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Buy all of the things I never had. Scene, smiling next to Oprah and the Queen. See, every time I close my eyes, I see my name in shining lights. A different city every night. Oh, I, I swear, the world back to prepare. Okay, that's it for the most part. That's it. Um, so real quick, let me get close so you can see my hands here. All right, the first chord in the song, first chord in the song is A major. It's an A major bar chord, and it's played like this. Bar, your first finger bars all of the strings at the fifth fret. Fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. The metal thing is the fret if you don't know already. But the fifth, the, the first finger bars all the chords at the, all of the, the first finger bars all of the strings at the fifth fret. Okay, so um, if, you, if you're not playing bar chords yet, it may take a little work just to get your hand strong enough to bar this like this and have, and play all this, make, I mean, bar this and have all the strings play, so. So that may be the first step for you if you're not playing bar chords yet to Work on that and build up your strength in your first finger. But okay, all right. The rest of the bar, the rest of the chord, the A chord. You have your bar at the fifth fret, barring all six strings. You have your your second finger, which is your middle finger, on the third string, sixth sixth fret. And you have your pinky finger, which is your fourth finger, on the on the on the fourth string, seventh fret. And you have your third finger, your ring finger, on the fifth string, seventh fret. So here's your, this is your A major bar chord, up close and personal, with your A major bar chord, like this, so you can see it really good. A major bar chord. So first chord of the song. And the way I'm playing this with my right hand, I'm using the finger style, finger style picking technique, where you pluck the, you pluck the bass string with your thumb, and you play the third, the fourth string with your first finger, the third string with your second finger. I mean, you play the fourth string with your first finger, third string with your second finger, and the second string with your third finger. Like, you just you you, you place all you place your fingers like under the, under the strings almost, and you pull up, you pull them up like that, and. You simultaneously pluck the sixth string with your thumb. And with this hand, you have to mute. You have to mute the strings. You mute, you mute the strings by lifting your hand. So you play, lift, play, lift. When you lift your hand here, it mutes the sound of the strings. That's how you get the, the choppy sound, as opposed to just doing this. You have to lift your hand. Second chord in the song. This is a C sharp major bar chord. So it's the same shape as your A major here. So what do you do? The easy way to do this is remember the shape, how, how where, where, where these three fingers are in relation to the bar. That's the thing to remember. So you move your bar up to the ninth fret here. Slowly up, well, up to the ninth fret. Bam. And that's the same shape. But this, this chord becomes a C-sharp major. And you still pluck in the same way, like this. Sixth string, fourth, third, and second. Third chord in the song. Third chord in the song is 
F sharp minor. F sharp minor. So, easy way to get from the C sharp major to the F sharp minor is to, well, you're going to have to move your bar down like this to cover the fifth string. You're not playing the sixth string. But these, these three fingers, the shape of those fingers, each finger moves down a string like that. But for teaching purposes, you your second finger goes on the your bars at the ninth fret. Your second finger goes on the second string, tenth fret. Pinky finger goes on the third string, eleventh fret. And your third finger, your ring finger, goes on the fourth string, eleventh fret. And you're playing the fifth string with your thumb on this chord because that's the bass note. No sixth string. So you have you have fifth string. Fourth, third, and second, all at the same time. So far, we have. Wanna be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Buy all of the things I never had. Next chord. This is an E major bar chord. If you're not familiar with this, E major bar chord. E major bar chord. So you place your bar at the seventh fret, and you only bar in the fifth string. The fifth string down. There's no there's no sixth string in this um. There's no sixth string in this chord, and you're and you're barring you're barring the second, third, and the fourth strings, which with your third finger here, and you're not playing the first string. I mean, just for just for clarity, you can. You can play the first string in this chord, and it can be kind of awkward getting it in like that. If you bar this up here, you're actually playing the note up here on your bar, but you have to clear the first string while you're barring here. But for this song, you don't play the first string. It's just the four middle strings like this. Can you see? Can you see? Four middle strings there. That's the fourth chord in the song. So pretty much you have. Wanna be a billionaire, so freaking bad. Buy all of the things I'd never had. And it just repeats. Wanna be on the cover of Forbes magazine. Smiling next to Oprah and the Queen. Next part of the song. This is the every time I close my eyes part. You take this shape, your your E major shape, and you slide it down do, 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 to the fifth fret. Now your bar is at the fifth fret. That makes that this is now a D major. So it's D every time I back to E close my and to back to your F sharp minor. So that's how you play that part. But with the rhythm, it's every time I close. See my name in shining lights. So you just do that twice. Every time I close my eyes, I see my name in shining lights. Now the different city part. This is a little little tricky, but it's not that hard. You can get it. It's so uh different city every night. Oh why? I swear so slower you have a different that's B city E slide that up every back to your F sharp minor that we learned night hold up I have a different city every my mistake for night you you slide your bar all the way up to the 12th fret. So you have a different city every night. Oh, I, I swear. So a different city. So you have D, E, all the way up that same shape to the 12th fret. This is an A major bar chord. Night, oh. And then it's to back to your F sharp minor. F sharp minor to your E, to your D. 
So with the rhythm is a different city every night. Oh, I, I swear. So that last part, the rhythm can be a little tricky with the reggae beat. So, different city every night. Oh, I, I swear the world better prepared for when I'm a billionaire. Got to work on the rhythm. I haven't necessarily mastered that yet, but that's a definitely that's the chord. Those are the chords there, and um, good luck on that. If you like that, check out my other videos. And subscribe.